Oh, thank you.
Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that, this one doesn't open. Oh, this one. Yeah. yeah. That one, that, they don't open this one because the wind grabs it. Hits it. Yeah. Thank you, though.
Kate's story was a first ever. Um, what we don't know is whether or not anybody's ever told the truth. But we, we have reason to be more honestly about what they did in the experience, or whether or not they actually experienced it. It's another story. So, the position I'm in as a skeptic is I have no more reason to believe that there is any sort of paranormal experience. It's truly a
means there was something in that body which is now no longer there. It must have gone on somewhere. And, and that simple inference, which we now understand is not a lot of evidence to reach that conclusion, leads to a bunch of similarities. And I think probably my favorite example is before modern science fiction from like the 1940s on, the notion of aliens took on a whole variety of different forms. And if you watch early science fiction, there were you know, big beasts, small beasts, and you still get some of that in some other stuff. But basically, with the introduction of those members of the world around the time, from that point forward, reports about alien abduction and alien interactions, not universally, but largely, echoed the almond eyes, the short gray, the big head, and that was just a unique bonus to what we were experiencing. So you can imagine if that wasn't that simple, that you would have to have a lot of people in the history of the world that have been mapped. So the emergence of stories that have become important echoes what we see in the emerging technology today, where we have these different creatures and creatures that have evolved different structures, different ways to solve the same problem. And they all know one thing, like any alien beings, you've all ever seen one, and if it's a human, it's a very different one. And they've come up with all those theories that couldn't have been lost in all these other things. When you have independent creatures in different parts of the world evolving towards similar solutions, physically, as an interaction point, then I don't find it all that surprising that thinking creatures who like to tell stories and who want to understand the world are going to come up with similar stories. They're not all going to be the same. And I think that a bit of it is kind of a nostalgia of, well, we were not hearing the stories from the ancient cultures who didn't hear these things that we find in witches and sacred souls and stuff. But we know that there are cultures that never had that, that brought the stillness. And so, you know, it's certainly an interesting thing. Once again, it's, I'm not as surprised by it. I'm more interested by the stories that they tell than the fact that they might be.